Hello my friends, welcome back to the Marine Stock project series. What you are going to focus in this video is to hide some tabs from the users based on a person's authentication state. As it stands right now, as for the final project, as you can see, when a user logs in, we have additional tabs, books, add books, users and logouts. So when I log out, as you can see, we have these tabs which are public but when i log in as you can see we have these additional tabs so this is what we're going to do in this video right so let's get started so if you look at the find the our states of application right now we all have all these tabs whether a person has looking or not so let's get started but before getting started in this video let me try to fix a certain bug from the previous video so let me close all my tabs here and then inside my front end, RSLC, components, users, and login user. All right, login user, as well as the function from line six, right, down to line 69. So the error here you are going to fix is this function, login user submit handler. So here, what we are saying is that when a person logs in, we are going to dispatch the action. So after dispatching the action, we will push the person to the profile page. Even though this profile page is not yet created, but we are trying to put the person to this profile page. But here comes the bug or the error. This dispatch login action can return error, loading, or um, the actual user's login credentials. So any of these state matches, we are going to what? push the user to the profile, which is not the ideal. So even though when a person is logging with the wrong password, it may be directing the person to the profile page. We can do some logic inside this component to push the person back when the person doesn't log in. But let's try to fix from here, from this point. So let me demo for you to see. So let me go to slash login. And let me show you what I mean. When I click login, as you can see, it has pushed me to the profile. And let me look at my Redux Depth Extension to as you can see in my state, user login failed and I have this error, invalid credentials. So let's try to fix that. So be to be able to fix that, let me move this function. Let me cut it from here. And let me create use effect function. Let me call this one redirect. And here I will say use effect. We are going to make use effect based on our state of our user, right? And the second parameter here is a array. So here we are going to say that if and only there is a user info, then I will say history dot push right, and I will push the person to the profile page like that, right? So this one depends on the user info, right? So I can even um, pass in the state. Anytime there's any change in this state, whether login, user info, or an error, I want to rerun this use effect. So I'll pass in state here. So let's try. With this being in place, let me go to my dev extension to console, sorry, and see if I have any back here running. And let me try one more time, slash login. We will find a way to fix it by clicking on the a link to take it there. So when I click login, as you can see, it didn't push out to the page and we have the invalid credentials. If you look at our state, we have login fail, right? So let's try it and log in with the right email. I think I forgot the password, excellent. As you can see, let's look at our dev extension to login success and I have the user, right? Correct. So that is gone. So let's tackle the actual, um, purpose for this video. All right, so let's head over to our folders here. Inside my component, let me close this one, my nav, and the nav bar. All right, this code, because of the HTML, it looks a little bit crazy, but let's take step by step. So what we are going to do in this video is to, um, okay, to make it very simple, let me do away with this one, this about. Let me even do this about one, because it doesn't make sense in this video because I don't remember the backend stuff. So let me delete this one to make it simple. 
this tab about so let me find the about tab here where is it bk um home and about modal as you can see starting from line 30 here the best button for mine and then let me scroll down this day 40 let me look at the closing of that line 30 i just want to make it simple okay it ends here so let me delete everything from here head over to line 30 based on my code here sorry 40 here let me delete and then let me delete this button too to make it simple yeah so let me see if i have any error no error correct perfect so let's look at the final one here let me log out and see you will have home about login and then register good so let me go back again book here this is a home this one too so this book right is private ad book also private users also private logout also private and then login and register are public right so let's cut this one's login and register link li so let me copy from this li tag and this one these two li let me cut it when you cut it try to save it and see if you don't have any error let me see sorry this is the final one okay there's no error here i didn't see any login i want to bring it after my home so let me go back my home here li so i can place this are my model right i can even remove these ones and then paste my another li here save it and let's see if you have perfect you have it so from here books art book and users are all public right so i'm going to make a conditional statement here that so based inside our states we are going to check if there is a user info so if you look at our state right now our state here let me refresh again let me refresh my and see my address 32 inside my state think unless i open it again with this one okay so this is my state now this one didn't refresh well my state so let me show you here i don't know why it's just pumping up right so if you look at my state right now sorry even though why is it updating all right so if you look at my states we have the user info in there right as you can see this one so i'm going to make a statement that if there's a user info inside this state then we are going to show this tab otherwise we're going to show this tab so let's get started so how are we going to do it we have to connect our component to our redox store and until now we make use of call use selector i always say that use selector is one of the hooks in the current version of redox i usually say that um, before this uh, current version of redox use what is called um, map prop to map prop to state and then you have to mount your component with how that component and then grab the piece of state but with this hook called use selector which is from import from react redox it's really make it really easy to grab what you want from your redox store so i need use selector here perfect so here you select i'm going to grab that one from the state so here you selector is a function right so that have all the states i would say cons i can make it state here or oh, my state is equal to use selector and it takes an anonymous function as my callback or my first argument and in here i have all my state here and then i can return my states perfect so let me even console.log console.log my state and you see that we will have all these states I don't know why my this is not updating. This looks weird now. So let me push it here. Sorry guys, let me push it here and see. I want to have the large view of my state. 
All right. So as you can see, inside my state, we have all these pieces of state inside my store right now. So what I need is to grab the user info, right? I'm going to make conditions based on my user login info. So when I refresh it again, let me see my state. As you can see, we have user info here. Perfect. So I'm going to grab this one. So I'm going to make this of the use selector. And in here, if you look at our state tree, we have user login. And then when you click open, you have user info right so let's do that even with esx if you have only one return value we can remove this carry braces and then quickly return states dot user login with this so let me save it let's go to my console and you see we have the user info here and this user info have three states, whether login, sorry, error, or the user info or loading. So if you look at this, I didn't make any action yet. You can grab that from our state. So I can say, I want this structure from the state. So state is equal to, so here my state, then I have the user info. You saw that, the user info. And then I can grab loading and i can grab the error as well so if you if you doubt how um, i'm getting this one is from our reducers because our reducers mess up our state so if you look at our reducers here redux reduces and the users reduces let me open for you the first one is what i'm returning first one loading it can be loading user info or error that's what i'm grabbing from my navbar my this state here so with this we're going to make use of user info, right? So here, for the additional ones here, this li here, and even before that, let me cut the login from whom it will always be shown. Let me cut the login and the register. So these two, look at where it's closing. So let me cut these two, right? And then use my GSS. I will see that if there is no user info right then i'm gonna show my public tab so i have to make use of gss and it needs a parent div so i can make use of react fragment here and then the one i cut my clipboard i can paste it here perfect and Otherwise here, otherwise I need to return the public, the, the private one. So from my book and down to users here and log out. And even this ones, this profile up to, um, if you let me cut, let me make it simple. So let me cut everything for my, this li here, books, users, the li here this one cut it and then let me paste it here it needs a parent so we have to wrap it inside my react fragments like that and then i can paste these ones perfect now it has left with this login and other stuff i can even do away with that if you have seen the logic right now so let me save it and let's see right now it's a user who has logged in right so i have all these tabs so if i log out so let me log out from my um let me log out from my local storage and you find a way of user of data here is it this one yeah so let me delete don't bother about this Keyword, this is a work I'm working on for some clients. So let me delete the user of data here, delete, and then refresh again. As you can see, now we have user login and that, and this drop down, right? So this is always public. So let me even push that one to this one's inside my public ones here. So here from the form, I can even cut everything. 
right? I can cut everything from here or even this one. Or even to make it simple, let me remove all these ones. The other tabs here, which are important for us now. Let me remove the form. Sorry. I want to remove and maintain that. First, let me delete the form here. I want to simplify everything. If you know how it works, you can implement that one on your own. And from here, let me delete this one too, right? I don't need any drop down yet for now. Good. Let me remove um, this one too. I don't need it. Perfect. So let's see what I have right now. Now I have these two. But when I log in, so let me log in. I think my login is not working well. When I log in like that, let me log in with this one. And let's see. We have additional tabs. Perfect. So it is implementation. So the understanding is the most important part. If you know how you do it, it's, it's just simple life logic. Just make use of temporary what um, operators. So if this, then that, right? So I make use of this temporary operator. The first one is upon my condition. I will say that if there is a user info, okay, my statement, and then if it is true, do something. Otherwise, do something, right? So this user info, we can even bring the other tabs otherwise bring that so this is a logic i made to make use of or to hide some tabs from the users all right but before i end this video i want to fix this one i want to able to well, let me log out again we find a way of logging out the user from our links here but for now i want to log out the user from here and then i want to show you something that i want to so let me save it and you can see we have this link. I want to able to link this one, click on this link and able to push me to my profile. So where do you have the link? Um, the login here. And I don't have the login is here too. Oh sorry. I have to wrap it with my link, not L I with that. So with this fix, when I click on login, register, and we are good to go. All right, so let me log in one more time. And sorry, when you log in, I want to have a spinning. I even, I even did that, and then you push me to that. So in the next video, we are going to able to, I mean, able to log out the user from our front end of our application. So thanks for watching.